So you open it from your mobile device, and your classes are there. So you select the class you want, and it's going to show you your queue. And you can go down. You can click on the one you want to do. Boop. So this is my phone view. And this is what shows up for the kids. So the question is up there. You hold your answer up. Just be sure not to block the little block, the black writing. And then I hit this little button here. Boop. And it goes around. And it grabs your answer. And you can see them popping up over here as your answer. So if you see your name, and I always tell the kids if you see it, put it down because if you still hold it up and you move it around and you change it, then it'll change your answer. So if they don't know what their name is. <laughs> right. Oh, there should be a number. Oh, there's, the numbers aren't up there. Done. So I hit that. And it, on my phone, it shows me the stats. And on the computer, OK, so then I just Scroll over to the next question. Where are you on the scale now? And you do it again. Can you? OK, so there's the numbers now. I chain. Yeah. I could, and I could see that. But there was a way for the, the graph to show up there. So now you can see what number you are. I just changed the display, the student list display to make the numbers work. You can scroll through if you need to go to another question. I'm done. You can go down and up. What not? Clickers. I got this straight from the help. Things to know about scanning. Make sure they're all visible. The green and the red on the graph on the side will tell you if it's right or wrong. If you mess this up or you need them to do it again, you can clear it from the phone and re-ask the question. And it works offline, which was pretty interesting. So if you don't have the internet, you can do it without. 